Greg, thank you. Throughout this pandemic, several rehab facilities across our state closed, but one fought hard to stay open. And the group's new method for treatment is part of a growing trend around the country. Fox 17 News Kathleen Jacobs shows us how religious based rehabs are changing lives. We've had over 200 deaths. More funerals than I want to think about. It's a surreal moment for this group, watching the documentary they spent most of last year creating, tackling Christ-centered recovery in the midst of a pandemic. I think this could meet resistance. I think I think anytime someone's modality is challenged or uh, way of thinking is challenged, I definitely think it can meet uh, resistance, but uh, the truth doesn't change and we're not going to sacrifice the truth. Adam Comer is the pastor and CEO of S2L Recovery, the state's first licensed faith based recovery center. He's also battled his own opioid addiction. He's heard the same message that I am this disease uh, and that I'll always be this. I'm, my identity is this, but if you do these steps and you go to these meetings, then you can live a life of remission. But he says that modality didn't offer much hope and insists your identity will always be as an addict. It's what led him to a faith-based program that worked for him and so many others. Yeah, I was walking around the streets of Nashville um, and wound up in a ditch one night, not knowing how I got there um, oh, in the pouring rain, didn't know where I was and got down on my knees and just begged God to save me from myself. Bruce Stanley is now the COO of S2L Recovery. His story is all the evidence he needed that faith-based recovery is effective. We were told that it just wasn't possible, that we couldn't be licensed as a christ Center recovery program. And so we found many doctors and clinicians and that, that were Christ uh, uh, followers who wanted to do this. A staff that can incorporate the medical side of addiction as well, something that proved crucial to staying open throughout the pandemic. We were getting people from all over uh, the country, not just here in Tennessee, who couldn't find recovery programs in their state because they were just all closed down. Like Army veteran Ronald Patterson, who slipped back into drug use during the pandemic. Started lying to my wife and stuff like that. So my wife uh, put a, a camera in the house and showed me for six weeks how I looked and I was progressing, getting worse and worse, till she said, hey, no more. This ain't you and that wasn't you. It was tough to find somewhere that would take him during the pandemic. And when he found S2L, it was the answer he needed. I just let go and let God. Spreading the word about combining faith with medicine to treat addiction during this challenging time. Kathleen Jacob, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.